Hey guys, in this video, we are gonna be setting up external access to our image server running on TrueNAS with both TailScale and Cloudflare Tunnel. Now, TailScale is great. It allows us to easily connect to our server from our mobile phone as if our TailScale server is just publicly accessible, right? We just use our TailScale IP address and then we're able to sync our photos and our videos. There's no upload limits like there are on Cloudflare Tunnel but it's still pretty awesome to have Cloudflare Tunnel set up so that you have that public URL available in case you need to access your photos from anywhere or share a share link to an album with your family or friends. You can set that up so that the share link goes to your Cloudflare public URL. And what's so cool with Cloudflare Tunnel is that you can set up the zero trust access so that no one can hit your image server webpage unless they get through the Cloudflare access first. Okay guys, I love this on TrueNAS because it is just so easy. We don't have to write any code. We just kind of click a couple buttons to install TailScale and Cloudflare and they're just up and running. They just, it's that, it's that easy. Okay, there's no reason not to do this. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so we have image up and running on our TrueNAS scale server. Let's set up external access. So we're gonna go down to applications. We can see our image application here and let's go to discover apps. So I wanna set up both TailScale and Cloudflare, just like I have in other videos, but this time we're doing it on TrueNAS. So let's go ahead and set up the TailScale route. Click on TailScale, and we're just gonna click on install. Application name, we'll just stick with the default version, stick with the default, and search for Denver. Okay, the host name is what is gonna appear on our tail skill admin board and we need to get an auth key for this to be able to connect. So I'm just gonna go to this URL and it should log me right in. Okay, I'm gonna set the expiration to just one day. Oh, I just need to authenticate. So let's hit generate key. Okay, let's copy that and let's paste this. Okay, I don't think I need any of these and we'll stick with the defaults on CPU and memory. So let's go ahead and hit install. Okay, we've got TailScale running. Let's see if I can see that in my TailScale admin. Go to machines, and here we go. Here's my TrueNAS scale instance, and it is connected. Okay, so let's see if I can go ahead and access image from my phone. Okay, so on my phone, I'm gonna go to the TailScale app and make sure that I am connected. I don't need this exit node. And I should see that the TrueNAS scale is also connected. So let's go ahead and copy that IP address. Okay, let's open up image. And then for the endpoint, we're gonna do HTTP colon slash slash. And then we need to put in the tail scale IP address for our TrueNAS instance. And then if you recall, we're on, uh, image is running on port 341. So let's go 341, hit next. It connected, right? So let's see if we can sign in. Thomas at Thomas Wildtech dot com password is thomas well tech and check it out so uh this this will work anywhere right as long as i have tail scale installed on my phone i'll be able to sync my photos with my server okay so what if we want to securely access this from the web uh anywhere with a custom domain name that's where cloudflare tunnel comes in handy so let's install cloudflare Go back to Discovered Apps, and I'm going to search Cloud Flared, and let's hit Install on this bad boy. Okay, so we just need to go grab a tunnel token for our Cloud Flared application. So let's go to Cloud Flare. If you don't already have an account, just hit Sign Up. It's free to create one and it is free to have a tunnel into your network. So let's go to zero trust, go to networks and then tunnels and then go create a tunnel. We're gonna do cloud flared tunnel name. I'll call it true NAS demo and hit save tunnel. Okay, and then we just need to get this token right here. Let me just copy this and let's just throw this into a notepad. I wanna get this JWT right here and copy that guy. Go back to TrueNAS, 
that's gonna be our token. So let's just paste that in there. Don't really need to do anything else. Uh, we'll just stick with the uh, defaults on this and we'll hit install. Okay, it says Cloudflare is already up and running. So let's hop back over to Cloudflare and we can see right here that we are connected. Is that easy? Okay, so let's just set up a public URL that we can access image from anywhere. Let's go to next. And I'm gonna call this image dash trueness. You can make it simpler. I just might have conflicting URLs, uh, subdomains. So image dash trueness. Gonna choose my domain here for what I do for these demos, wildebeastmedia.com. And then the service, we're gonna do HTTP. We're gonna tell Cloudflare to basically host our image service. And then the URL is gonna be that server name the server name in port, so basically this guy. And we're gonna route that right in there. I'm gonna take off the HTTP. Okay, so that's our TrueNAS server, and this is the port for image. And then we're gonna hit save tunnel. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that subdomain. Save tunnel. Okay, successfully saved settings for TrueNAS demo. Okay, let's hop into another browser and go to image truenas dot wildebeastmedia.com and look this is publicly available and that's so cool it's so easy to do that i love that let's just go ahead and set up a zero trust layer really quick so go to access in cloudflare add an application we're gonna go self-hosted application name let's say image trueness and we'll give this a session duration of 24 hours Create a new access policy. We're just going to say that it's only available to our email address. So say image true NAS email. And then just uh, an allow policy here. We'll do, we'll allow emails for our personal email address and hit save. So hop back over here and select existing policy image true NAS email and hit next. We forgot the application domain. So public host name, this is the image dash trueness. And then we'll select that domain. DNS record will be created. And then let's hit next. Stick with the defaults for the block page. Next, and then save. Okay, so now let's try to hit our public URL, refresh it. And boom, we have to go through Cloudflare Zero Trust Access. So now not anyone can just get to the sign-in page. You gotta go through this Cloudflare Access page first. I can just click sign in with Google and then that's easy. And then now I already have a session started so I don't have to go through this again. Hey guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna see me do some uh, other TrueNAS videos or if you have any questions on image in particular, hit me up in the comments and I'll be happy to reply as soon as I can. Otherwise, I will see you in the next one, guys.